me in 4K grandeur. <laughs> Need a shave. I need a haircut too, <laughs> but that doesn't matter. Neither of those, those things matter today because today, at long last, I'm going to make my aluminum bronze. And uh, I've been wanting to do this for quite some time. I, uh, I started melting the aluminum. I got my forge, my, my forge, my foundry furnace up to the where it could, it could actually melt copper. So uh, I'm excited. We're going to make this stuff now. I know a lot of guys talk about, oh, yeah, it should be 92.3.876% aluminum. And I'm going to get close to about, I think I'm going to get close to about 89% copper and 11% aluminum. I'm going to try. But you know what? We're talking about a little scale in my garage. We're talking about dross is going to form and blah, 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 blah. we're going to be close. We're going to be 90-ish, 90-10% uh, copper and aluminum. So also want to mention that um, we're doing kind of a little different thing here. Um, if you don't watch Paul's Garage, a channel over uh, out of the Midwest, the great Midwest of the country, uh, he's got a great channel. Uh, I love Paul's content, uh, a lot of fun to watch, does some neat things. Paul and I are going to be doing a comp competition-ish, not really a competition because we're both winners, just from compete, just because we participated. <laughs> we're both winners, right? We're both going to make hammers out of this aluminum bronze. And so it'll be interesting for me to see how things kind of progress. Uh, Paul and I have talked quite a bit uh, on email, but I don't know a lot of details about what he's doing, and I don't think he knows a lot of details about what I'm doing. So. It'll be kind of fun to see how things go. I will link Paul's um, channel at the end of this video. So go over and watch his video. It, it should have released just a few minutes before mine. I'm going to try to plan it for that so that if you've watched his, maybe he's going to send you over here. I'm definitely going to send you over there. So go look at his video. All right, let's get started uh, with the process of figuring out how to get this, um, uh, this alloy figured out. Okay, I got... Um, I've got plenty of copper. My hammer that I'm making is really not going to be all that big. Um, so I think I'm going to do two of these pieces of copper. Uh, we're at 1,058. So if I want to get an 89% uh, copper alloy, I'm not sure exactly how you do that. Um, 1,058 divided by 0.89 is like, I think it's like, 1188. Let's check. <laughs> See how close I got. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I am an arithmetic whiz, aren't I? Anyway, so that's going to be my total uh, weight. Um, the difference between the two of these, so 1058, 0, 3, 130 grams of aluminum is what I need next. So I've got lots of aluminum. And we'll just see. That's interesting because aluminum is not nearly as dense. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty darn close right there. We're going to all have to I'll come up with the extra pieces to get to 130. But... Uh, Basically, there you go. That's what your that's what your ratio is going to look like if you're uh, if you're looking at doing this. Not like that. So not a lot of aluminum compared to the uh, compared to the copper. Let's get it melted. <laughs> there we go. Finally focused. Um, I'll go ahead and close this thing up. We'll let it heat and melt. And once we get it melted, the copper will start going in. I ran out of propane. <laughs> As the aluminum was starting to melt, I ran out of propane. All righty, off to the store. I'll be back. <laughs> Belay had order. <laughs> I uh, I just stole the bar the tank off our barbecue grill. <laughs> I, this is 
got to be far more important than eating, okay? <laughs> anyway, it's full. We're going to get this melted now. All right. Um, it was interesting. The aluminum, the aluminum, da 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 da. <laughs> I was, it was interesting. The aluminum uh, actually stayed melted the whole time I had the gas off and I was running around the house trying to find a tank and da da da. So what I'm doing now is I'm just going to go ahead and keep heating until I get to uh, a yellow hot. I know it looks yellow on the camera. I can see it on the monitor I'm looking at, but it's really kind of a orange color right now. So I'm going to keep going until I get closer to yellow before I add my copper because copper just, I know it will melt at this orange temperature. Uh, I guess I could be preheating my, my copper, but anyway, I'm going to keep letting it get hot before I put it in. Okay, I'm getting pretty close to uh, yellow, a very light orange. I'm gonna go ahead and stick these pieces of copper down in the crucible. Uh, they've been up here heating. They've, they've kind of turned black from, from their nice copper color they had. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna stick one in at a time and just uh, see if we can't start to get a melt going. happened you missed it I didn't get the camera turned on in time I got to yellow and the copper ringgit that I put in melted almost I mean it just went down in and when it did that I had a huge billow of white smoke come out probably something toxic and I may not make it to the end of the video but um, that ingot is almost completely melted in there is maybe that much left maybe inch and a half left so I'm gonna go ahead and this guy is stuck down in there. I really don't want to drop it. You have no idea how much I don't want to drop this in there. Okay, we're melted. I am going to leave the camera focused on this. Um, it's a live shot, see? <laughs> I'm gonna leave the camera focused on that, on the, the on the ingot mold. I heated it up. It sat on top of my uh, my furnace here for a little while just to dry. The, there's no moisture in my garage, but just in case, and I wanted it a little bit warm. So now, fortunately, it looks pretty clean. I'll go ahead and shut the gas off. And it's, it's suddenly quiet in here. It's... There we go. Let's see what we get. <laughs> How about that? Almost what I put into it. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Can you see that? bunch of stuff down in the bottom. Just scrape that and see what that is. And yes, those of you that are observant, you will have noticed my foundry furniture or my furnace furniture or whatever it's called sticking to the bottom of my crucible. And look at this. This is so cool. You can see, you see the color there? It's gold. And that's drying gold. Look at that one. Oh, it's golden. <laughs> Alrighty, I'll come back when those are cool. They look good, don't they? Oh. All right, well, look at there. <laughs> gold, gold. You know, who needs gold rush and those kind of shows? All you need is some old, some old scrap plumbing, an old screen door, and look what you can make. Gold. <laughs> Okay, um, interesting. I started off with, I think it was 1288, something like that, 1.288 grams or kilograms of material. And I'm at 1,000, I'm right at one kilogram. And um, this is what I pulled out of the crucible. You can't see it, there it is. This is 
pulled out of the crucible. Uh, a bunch of junk on the bottom. There's no question. There's just dross and stuff down here. Um, but this all looks pretty good. I add that. And I bet it's not going to tell me how much it weighs. I think this was like, yeah, this is like 70 kilograms, 70 grams, um, which would have got me pretty close to where, where I started. All right, aluminum bronze. I did it. Uh, I'm pretty excited. Next step is to make the hammer. If you want to go see what Paul is up to, I'll link his thing right here. Uh, if you want to come back and see what else, how this thing turns out, why don't you go ahead and hit the subscribe button, which I'll put, how about I put it right there, right over there. <laughs> you guys have a great day.